you believe you're an intergalactic goddess. And the, the question I'm going to ask now is, it's, it's not a question of me being disrespectful or anything, but okay. that's some title, by the way, <laughs> an intergalactic goddess. <laughs> But for the skeptics out there, yep. they'll find it very hard to believe that you're stood here with me yep. right now yep. in a park in Kilsyth and you're an inter intergalactic goddess. And can I say, they don't have to believe me. They don't have to, I don't have to prove myself to anyone. So where do you think you're from? At the moment, I don't fully know. I just know that I'm not from here. I know I'm from a different star system. Right. And I know that I agreed to come to the planet at this time with a group of souls, there's more of us, to come and save the planet and bring it back to what it should be and remind everyone of love again. I read, right, yeah. that you are now comfortable with who you are yeah. and the way that you dress and the way that you look and yeah. you don't see these people now staring at you, no. but your mum does. Yeah, she's going, everyone's staring at you, Leah. Everyone's staring. I'm like, mum, it's fine, like, don't worry about it, don't take it apart. I know, but you're my daughter. Yes, she is an alien, that's an alien you're looking at. I'm just like, Oh, like so I just laugh because I'm like, yeah. So I'm your, your mum's accepted who you are. Yeah. And believes who you are. Yeah. And, and believes, believes in, in me. You. Yeah. I love to be in nature because it reminds me of who I am. And who are you? Because I am nature. I'm part of everything. I am you. I am this tree. I am the grass. I am the sky. And when I'm in like the city and houses and things like that, you can forget who you are because you're caught up in what you think is reality. Right. And I come here to remember this is what's real, this is what's untouched by man, this is part of planet Earth. Why you? It's not me though. I am not me. I am a higher power. I am not Leah Brooklyn. Like She is just a temporary physical vessel that I'm in for however long I'm on this Earth. I am not me. This has been around two, two and a half years ago. So the lay that I see today was not the lay of two and a half years ago? Not in the slightest, like, if I was to meet me when I was 21, I would be freaked out. Like, seriously, like I always say, if someone said, like, showed me a picture of what I would look like now to me at 21, I would laugh so hard. I'd be like, please don't let me turn out like that, please. Like, please, someone keep an eye on me. I look crazy. Like, what the... I would be so confused, like, literally. Uh -huh. What would Leah be doing if I wasn't here today? Well, I can show you. Can you show me? Yeah. <laughs> So the reason I take my shoes off in the grass is so that I can really feel nature. Do you want what what what, what would be described as a, a normal human life? Do you want to be married? No. Do you want or do you want that? I don't need the label. I know that if I'm meant to meet the person that my soul's meant to, to be with, then I will. But I'm I'm not like, oh I need a boyfriend. I used to be like that. People don't have to understand my journey, it's my journey to understand, just like your journey is yours to understand yeah. and I don't have to understand it. So that's why I don't take anything personally when people look at me or, or criticise me. They're on their path and I give them love. I would never try and prove myself to anyone. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you and your mum as well, by the way. And please continue on this journey. Definitely I will be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.